So I was standing perhaps on the eastern side of um, Dumpton Hill Fort, or Dumpton Hill as it's known on the notes board. <coughs> Quite a nice hill fort in, just near Honiton in Devon. Bit of nightmare to get to, but never mind. <laughs> Yeah, quite a nice um, hill fort, bit of a steep climb, as in all hills. Um, yeah, quite pronounced, it's right on the edge of um, Black Hills in Devon, just off there. So yeah, it's, it's um, quite a nice hill fort. So we'll take a swap the camera around, have a quick look off the eastern side and the surrounding hills. It is a bit um, cloudy today, but it's my own fault for doing all this sort of thing in the beginning of March, because it's the best weather in England, of course. Um, just going to swap the camera around, standing on the eastern edge, looking west, and that seems to be a gateway. Whether that's a farmer's gateway, um, I don't know, I'm not sure. Um, but we, it, there's lots of um, flint and earth and wet seems to be worked into a rampart so I'm guessing that's original. I'm um, just going to take a quick sweep around, have a look at the ramparts and the palisade, all the palisades it seems to be built out of the same material, um, flint, chert and soil. So yeah, then we're going to look at um, the surrounding landscape which is the best weather in England in the beginning of March so it's a bit breezy, a bit cold and you can't see very far. Um, now we go down onto a plateau, down below the hill fort, this would have been used for like um, sheep grazing and farming. There is a tumor list down there which I will consult the maps when I get back. Now there's an outer rampart which seems to be um, a by valley lake hill fort, that's two banks and two ditches. And we're looking towards the Black Hills, um, just outside Honington we are, we're not too far, small lanes to get to. Bit of a nightmare, need some map reading going on. Um, pointing towards Honington now, but we can't see it because it's a bit cloudy, a bit overcast. Then we're going to look into the interior. Doesn't seem to be that much about, but there's um, doesn't seem to be more than three hectares in size. So yeah, pretty small middle hill fort, but. Um, there's quite a lot going on in the surrounding area, like banks and ditches and grazing land. So yeah, we're going to walk into the middle of the hill fort and finish up and go on to the next hill fort. Nice impressive hill fort actually, it's, like I say, it's uh, perhaps only three hectares in size, but um, yeah, surrounding area is like gorgeous, it's a mixture of like hills and lowlands, and when we get down to lowlands it's only a few metres above sea level, closer to Honington, but there's several other hill forts in the area, I'll say several, I don't really know, because I haven't done no research to this hill fort, because I come from Somerset, I'm a bit more familiar with the hill forts in Somerset, i.e. Cadbury, Brent Knoll, Ham Hill, but once I get into Devon, a bit hazy. But yeah, it's a lo lovely place to come and visit. Um, when you've got clear skies, it'd be absolutely amazing to see over. Um, it does stem from the Iron Age, lovely um, palisade surrounding the hill fort. Quite extended ditches to the other banks, so that, that's, um, keep your sheep, your cattle in there at night time. But um, yeah, I'm going to go on to the next hill fort. I'm not sure where I'll end up. I'm heading to the side of Honington, so I'm guessing Hanbury, but not the best map reader in the world, so it could be any hill fort. But yeah, I'm going to go back and read about this hill fort because I'm quite impressed. Um, yeah, so like, we'll go on to the next hill fort, see how it goes. Thank you. Bye. Right, um, Stand on Hanbury, I kind of forgot how small and windy the um, Devon roads were actually, the more like tracks and roads. But anyway, I got here after a nice um, climb. <sighs> Quite a big hill fort, um, first impression, so I haven't got, got here, not a chance to walk around yet. But the ramparts and the palisade are quite phenomenal. They're um, huge, to tell you the truth. I mean, the palisade I'm on is what, 10 foot, and then go over the top, it drops another 25 foot into a ditch and goes up onto another bank, which is more or less the same size as Palisade, then drops again and goes onto another bank. So I'm saying at the moment it's probably a tri value as I can see another ditch probably in the distance. So yeah, pretty huge hill fort. I know there's a lot going on here and there's quite a lot of stuff in the Exeter Museum which has been dedicated to this um, hill fort. Um, 
What springs to mind is a Hanbury Bowl, which is more or less a complete Iron Age bowl. But then again, I haven't researched a lot of the um, Devonshire hill forts. But yeah, I'll go on to the other side of the hill fort where there's less trees so we can have a better look. Be back I really research these hill forts before I come and visit. But um, what I've had have read from years ago, there is um, a Neolithic enclosure somewhere on this hill fort. And I've got a really big suspicion I'm standing in the middle of it. You've got two banks either side of me in between the Palisades. So I'm guessing this might be the um, Neolithic enclosure. I am going to go back and research quite a lot on this hill fort because there has been quite a lot of excavation here over the years. It has been um, used since Neolithic times, obviously, right up to Iron Age time because they have found quite a lot of um, Iron Age artefacts up here. So yeah, I will go along and have uh, another look at some ramparts. Being at the beginning of March, it's um, legendary um, English weather with like overcast, not seeing no more than what five miles. This hill fort is um, heavily wooded. Wouldn't like to be up in the summer, you wouldn't be able to see much, but I think it's probably the right time of year to come and have a look. Have a look at the ramparts, they lay out perhaps a Neolithic enclosure in the middle and try and get a feel for the hill fort. Um, yeah, the, the ramparts on this, side or the ditches they seem to be um, very very steep 30 foot deep and um, yeah quite a lot about three ditches uh, I would say a tri -valulate. but with so many trees being in the way there is some evidence of tree management going on so I don't think they're letting new trees grow they're just letting the older ones just mature and die naturally but yeah there is quite a lot of overgrowth here so yeah, I'm going to go around the other side of the hill fort and have a look at the ditches and perhaps go on to another hill fort. In the 60, we're standing in the second ditch on the way down and just to see how big this bank is and how deep the ditch is to go with it. So yeah, I'm pretty um, awe-inspired actually because this is a massive hill fort. But, well, massive ramparts, but the enclosure doesn't seem to be that big and seems to be 8 hectares whether that justifies having such big ramparts I don't know there's some politics going on there but yeah just a quick 360 there's some plains of Devon that's not far above sea level so the hill fort would have been overlooking some important um, territories there we go there's a nice landing, landing halfway down the hill now um, just looking at the big ditch uh, standing on the last bank on the way down so yeah, that bank's a bit um, steep there. This is the second one down, so yeah, then I'm standing on the third one, so yeah, that probably makes it try value But yeah, I'm just amazed at how big these ramparts are, actually. They're in closing area. Like I say, oh, sorry, it'd be boring, but eight hectares. Coming on to like the last bank now, then suddenly drops down to the road down below. And there is evidence down there of another bank as well. So whether that's the last bank into the hill fort, I don't know. So yeah, that's the end of the little video tour. So yeah, good. So yeah, that's the second hill fort of the day. It's only about half one, so I might get another one in. This is my first of um, probably my video blogs. I have done videos before, but I haven't really put face to picture. And um, yeah, hope all goes well. Hope everyone likes it and I'm open to criticism even though I will do and I know I will do especially from them called David. So yeah, um, yeah it's good. I'm really impressed with this hill fort and I'm sure everyone else would as well. I think the best time to come is the winter when the vegetation's down. But like I say, um, some tree management has gone down to clear the hill of scrub and young trees. So I think that's probably a good idea. I'm not sure who's doing that. I haven't seen no notice boards or anything. So yeah, that's my first blog. Hope everything goes um, well. And I look forward to criticism, even though I'm sure I've made a few mistakes somewhere along the line. Um, found a bog up here. I've, my foot's and my legs sunk into the mud. but. Yeah, okay, I'll put this video up as soon as I get home, see what goes about and see who criticises it. Alright then, bye for now. I might go back to the car, have a look at the map, do a quick rear case, see if any close hill forts are close by on the way home. So you might get another one on the tail end of this one. Alright then, bye for now.
Cheers. Okay, so I lied. This is the third hill fort of the day. Um, the Palisades enclosure is, what, say two hectares, it's not very big. It's a multi value late hill fort. That means a palisade, one ditch, and perhaps a scrape. But on one side, there is quite a lot of earthworks. Uh, on the notes board, it says there's two barbicans. And that just means enclosures, really. And that um, gives way to the levels below, a big valley, um, probably grazing, and that's where they would have like got the crops. This is Blackberry Camp. It's in Devon. It lies beside the road, so it's pretty popular with them um, dog walkers and other people. So yeah, it's just a quick video to show you this little um, camp. It's well marked on the map as well, so yeah, it's quite easy to find. I kind of like fell upon it rather than look at my map actually. But I'm just going to swap the camera around so you can have a better look of the interior. So like um, looking now at um, what's called the Barbican. This is an arrangement of banks and ditches, and this would be an entrance. I would have thought. Um, perhaps where they herded the cattle or separated the cattle and sheep and goats and whatever else of um, farming really. But yeah, we're going to take a quick look at the interior. I'm standing on the palisade. So yeah, it's not too big, but yeah, it's um, pretty well defined. So not many breakages in it. There's a few breakages in the ramparts itself, but they look more like farmer's tracks. But yeah, it's not, as you can see, a few trees lying about. <laughs> but yeah, it's a nice little hill fort, nice centre of day. Um, pretty close to Sidmouth. So yeah, bring the camera around just to have finish where I started. And I might go and take another one before I leave. So yeah, like I say, this is Blackberry Camp. Standing in the interior, um, in the middle, looking out. So I'm just going to sweep the camera around so you can all have a look. Um, like I say, two hectares perhaps. Um, palisades are pretty large. It says on notes by board that was used for um, Iron Age community use for farming. So I'm not sure if the interior was used for farming or the inhabitants. The barbican would have been more um, suitable to farming than herding cattle. But um, since the palisade is so large, I would have thought like all the huts would have been close to the palisade to shelter from the wind. And the weather, west of the weather is Dorset and pretty close to the south coast, so I'll, that's my guess. But yeah, I'm going to stop there and have another wonder and be back a in quick second. note. Um, say goodbye to Blackberry Hill for, Hill for or Blackberry Camp as it's known on notes board. Every Univate Hill for I've been to in this part of the country is always known as a camp. Perhaps some people can enlighten me on this term. Um, but yeah, clarifications of hill forts and different types of hill forts are quite large. There's only about five I can think of a univaluate hill fort which is one bank, one ditch. Bivaluate which is two banks and one ditch and trivaluate three banks, three ditches and multivaluate is four banks and four ditches and any beyond. Um, there's vetrified hill forts as well, mainly in Scotland. There's a few in Northumberland which is rock built palisades but they have been burnt to kind of fuse together as you will, like make a solid rampart, a solid um, rock rampart, very strong, impossible to like break. But it is quite a lot of debate of how this was done and why it was done, whether it was nature or human inhabitants who made these walls. But yeah, we're going to say goodbye to um, Black, hang on, Black Bree Camp, <laughs> and we're going to go homebound. Um, we 